August is hot, and so are the savings at Appalachian Wireless, where all smartphones are 50% off. Even the 64, 128, and 256 gig models. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. The developers on the proposed Raven Rock Casino and Resort made their first public appearance at this year's SOAR conference in Pikeville. Over the weekend, they took the annual Jenkins Homecoming Days Festival as an opportunity to introduce themselves to the Jenkins community, where the development will call home. Raven Rock Entertainment had a booth at the festival and showed off renderings of what the proposed casino and resort and adjacent adventure park will look like if the project moves forward. James Hibbets with Raven Rock Entertainment said he received overwhelming support from festival goers in Jenkins. A lot of people are coming in here that were Jenkins people at one time and they love the ideal. And also the people from Jenkins and Whitesburg and Pikeville and, and other surrounding areas, they, they love this, they want this here and we want to be here. I think it's a good opportunity. I mean, if there's a way to bring more income and revenue, then you know, I'm all for it. I don't know. It could be good, but it could also be bad. Just because uh, people shouldn't gamble all their money away. I've heard a few concerns, like um, if there if there would be problems with people coming into the casino and and having problems gambling. And with with, with Raven Rock, we would have programs in place that would take care of, of that problem. Our, our employees would spot the signs and we would get those people held. Many hurdles, including a change to the state's constitution, remain between Raven Rock Casino moving from being a plan to being reality. But Hibbett said he plans to keep the proposal fresh in the minds of those in the town that the plan could benefit the most. They, they love this. They want this here and we want to be here. From the Jenkins Homecoming Days Festival, Chris Anderson, EKB News.